wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. There's no rope. The rope is in your imagination. The rope is mental slavery. Praise the Lord. You are a woman, you are in a position whereby you are bent over. It could even be in your marriage. Praise the Lord. You are not moving, not because they say you should not move. You are not looking good, not because you have been told not to look good. But because in your mental state, praise the Lord, you are adjusting to the situation the devil wants you to adjust to. You are made for abundance. You are made for supernatural grace. You are made to walk in plenty. And as children of God, you are made to walk tall, not walk short, not walk bent, not walk, not leaping, but running, jumping, soaring, flying. Because the scripture says we shall mount on eagle's wings. So why should you remain in the same set position, bowed? They say this is a situation in your life. You say it's hereditary. That's the way it used to be in our family. Come on. As children of God, if you are going to inherit something, it should be only good things. For the Lord is good and his mercies endures forever. What endures in God's book? Mercy, not failure, not poverty. Not penury, not barrenness. Stop adjusting to this situation. What you don't want, you don't need. And you don't have to have it. It was on the Sabbath day, and on the Sabbath day, things don't happen. Praise the Lord. You know, this is a conference. And you might expect that we just come here and talk. Praise the Lord. But I tell you, the kingdom of God is not in words. But in the manifestation of his power. So we are not just going to say that Jesus is alive. You will feel the presence of Yahweh. We are not just going to say that he is able, abundantly able to deliver, to save, to set free. And we say for this reason was the son of man made manifest to destroy the works of the devil. And you came in here with the works of the devil. And it is not destroyed. It is not in words. But in the manifestation of his power. I'm not going to say that he's a God of abundance. And you came in here with a empty bank account. And you get back home. And it's still the same thing. Before you leave this premises. Because Yahweh is a God. And it's a God of abundance. You will see the difference. In the name of Jesus. Maybe you don't understand. <laughs> when I say he's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. Clap like revivalists. He's a Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle walking God, miracle walker. He's a miracle walking God. He's a Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle walking God, miracle walker. Oh, you are not feeling God. Hey, 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 it's a Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle, walking God, miracle, Jesus. It's a miracle, walking God. It's a miracle, walking God. It's a Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle. It's a miracle, walking God. It's a miracle, walking God. Hey, it's a Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle, walking God. Miracle, Jesus. It's a miracle, walking God.
seven star restaurant. So when you order in God's kingdom, the order comes according to your prescription. Have your seat. We are not there yet. We are coming. Yes. Praise the Lord. So I'm telling you that you don't come to a conference like this and say, ah, they just want to speak to us. So praise the Lord. We are talking about God, not Naomi. We are talking about God, not one person somewhere, one prophet somewhere. We are talking about the omnipotent, omniscience, omnipresence. God who is ready, born ready. He was, he is, he will be, and he's the one who is to come. Amen. Amen. So when I say Alpha, that it sits over every offices. It sits over every ministry. It sits over every profession. Tell me the judge that wants to do your case. When it's a Alpha and Omega. Hey, it's a miracle walking God. of alpha it makes the law that's the meaning he's a custodian of law and the maker of laws and so the laws of this world are inferior to the superior law of heaven El shall die that's what we are talking about so who is making laws oh they just made the policy it's affecting my business he's a alpha and omega it's a miracle walking God. There has been a law that on the Sabbath day you do nothing. Good, bad, you do nothing. Praise the Lord. But Jesus, the Son of God, and me and one will live in my native language. He was present and he is present now. Tell your neighbor, say he's here. He was present. And so the laws had to change. Oh, don't be too religious, my friend. When God steps into a situation, it's different. It's mysterious. It's different from being mystical. I'm talking about mystery in his own self. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. God himself is the word. Adonai. Nisi. Elohim. I'm talking about God. But you know, I'm not hyping him. Praise the Lord. I'm not hyping God, though. <laughs> he is. He will be. So it's not hype. I'm not lying to you about you. will see now. Ah, what is it that I can do as a man? Nothing. Nothing. That woman has been going for many years. Tied up with infirmity. Where are you buried? Did they swear for you that in your family, the only thing you can do is just to be mates? They gave back to your parents in poverty. Your mother served some people, even family members she's older than, and now you have been sent like a load, like loaf of bread, to go and serve another, and you can